Davis. Here we are, folks, on this beautiful hot day. It rained for the past three days, now it's hot. Uh, we're here on a random hill, and the hill's a little too steep for G-turns because you can't get a lot of speed, but we're gonna do it here anyways, because we're here. So we're gonna do G-turn variation today, folks. Three different variations for each hillside and toe side G-turn. Get your gears a turn and uh. Step one, folks, you gotta learn how to do a G-turn. There's already info on YouTube. Type in trick tip G-turn and you'll find something. But to get over it really quickly, you should be able to nose mail probably two parking spaces. And then you should be able to do this. You wanna start out with the G-turn real quick. You just wanna go like this, come up, pivot around a 180, boom. Once you get that down all smooth, come up, and then you wanna to try to elongate your pivot. Oh, almost there, you see that folks? Then you come back over here. And then you try it again. This time you go all the way around, lead with your front shoulder, follow through. Bam! You completed it in one minute. <laughs> so once you get your basic G-turn out, it's going to be fun to figure out how to stylize it out, or how to throw, who has a little net? Or how to throw other combinations into your G-turn. So I'm going to show you three examples for a hillside G-turn. Here we go. The first variation of the G-turn is a... Uh, Nolly shove it, catch it on the nose into G-turn. Requirements, learn how to shove it. Shove it's like this. You go, nolly shove it, you get on the front of your board and you swing it and you boom, you land it, okay? Step one, practice that. The next step is you should be able to learn how to shove it and catch it in the nose manual. So you're gonna go around, shove it, bounce off right in the nose manual, okay? Now, Step three is when we put it all in together. What we're gonna do, huh? here we go, folks. <laughs> here we go. We're gonna shove it, touch it, G-turn it. Into the fine details, folks. When you do your shove it, going up the hill, it's kind of weird. You're gonna want to shove it while you're already setting up and carving in for the G-turn. So I'm coming up, I'm carving for the G-turn, I shove it more than a 180. See, because I come up, I'm already carving, I shove it more than a 180. So the board's already going into the G-turn. This allows you to catch the board easier and do your G-turn. Let's watch it again from a different angle. Yeah. Fine details number two, folks. When you're setting up for your shove it, make sure you have a wide stance on your board. Because if you have a narrow stance and do your shove it, you're really far away from the nose. But if you have a wide stance on your board, you're closer to your nose. So wide shove it stance. All right, folks. Sorry today we don't have the steady cam. It's at John's place, so it might be a little shaky today. But anyways, fine detail number three is it looks better if you link the shove it into G turn pretty quickly. Obviously, it's hard to get it flawlessly, but if you come up and you do your shove it and, and, and you diddle daddle, then catch it like this and do your G-turn, it doesn't look as good, right? It looks better if you can cut out time, come up right when you shove it, hop on that tail and bring it around. We're on to variation number two. We're done with the shove it one. Variation number two. This one's a little harder. I have trouble with it sometimes and it's going to be difficult on the steep slope. Speed. <laughs> anyway, so what this one's gonna be, you're gonna come up and instead of doing a shove it, you're gonna do a nolly pivot. Then you're gonna have to spot your nose of the board, spin backwards off your front foot, catch the nose, G turn it up, and you're done. That looks like this. Oh, we're doing a one take, baby. One take, here we go. <laughs> we're gonna get this out of the Let's break this down into the fine details. I like the fine details. So, detail number one. You gotta be able to do a nolly pivot. You gotta be able to ride, get on the front of your board, swing your body forward, bam, nolly pivot. Detail number two, not four, two. Nolly pivot, pivot around your foot, rise your front foot, pivot around and catch that nose. You see that? Let's do it more in depth. Nolly pivot, put it around your foot, 
to the nose. Got that? Now, don't practice on a hill, it makes no sense. Practice this part on a flat ground to be able to nolly pivot, pivot around your foot onto the nose. Okay, now find detail number three, pivoting. Okay, when you pivot, bam, you look over your shoulder and you, it's kind of like a little hop around your foot. I mean, you can come, turn, and then pivot, or you can go do your nice thing and do it like a hop and catch it. It's whatever, it's up to you. But remember, look over your shoulder. Spot the nose of the board. Okay, putting it together. We're gonna put it all together. Up, pivot, it, catch it. That's gonna happen a lot. You see that? Because it's very difficult, all on motion, to pivot around your foot and spot your nose. That's gonna happen a lot. Find detail number four. I just remembered this. Same with the with the shove it, with the nollie pivot. You want to come up here and pivot your board more than a 180, pivot around, then catch it. While pivoting your board, coming up here more than a 180, it sets up your nose to catch right into the G turn. Okay? Another fine detail while we're on this one is again, speed makes it look more stylish. So if you come up, and you do your little pivot, and you wave, daddle daddle, cross your legs, come, and try to pivot around. It's not as smooth as you make it all one motion. Alright. Watch that do all one motion, we're still going? <laughs> yeah. Here we go! All one motion, folks! Diddle it down! Woo! Woo all one motion! Alright, ready? Where are we going? Where are we going? <laughs> yeah. He's quick one. <laughs> Variation number three, we're on to number three now, is we're gonna do a squat down G turn. These are pretty fun. Let me show you how it looks first and then we'll go from there. Do it straight up! Go! You! It's hot out here, folks. Alright, there's not too many tips for this one. I would recommend maybe doing it in steps. Don't go for the whole whole Twinkie. So, come here, I want you to go up, get low, and do a 180. Now the secret is, you kind of want to gradually get lower as the G-turn's going on. So you start up high, and then you slowly sink down into it. So get that down first. Once you're able to squat down and do a 180 squatting down, and then just gradually Make it more and more. Remember, keep your weight over your front foot, fall through with your shoulders, and get it. So, nice and easy, folks. You start up high, squat down, bam. Okay. More advice on the download G turn because I feel like I'm jipping you on advice. This one's just this is kind of more of a feeling move, you know? But your position is you don't want to be squatting down, doing like you're taking a poo or anything like that. It's more of like a Coleman squat where you, you cock your front knee forward and most of your weight's over your front foot as you pivot around the front truck. So, remember man, I mean, you're gonna come up and fall down like this. You'll probably go, probably get down too low and slip out. That's because you're putting too much weight on your heels. You gotta be more over the truck. All right, practice it, you'll get it. Maybe don't wear nice shorts because if you wear nice shorts, they'll get ripped up. Mine still are pretty nice looking though. I've had these for a while, pretty good. Folks, I'm a liar. In this video I said we're gonna do three heel and three toe side variations, but we're not gonna do three toe sides because I don't want the video to be too long and you guys get really bored. So that'll be a whole separate video with the three toe sides. So practice these three heel side combinations, come with your own. There's a lot of moves you can do out of your G-turn and stuff like that. Be creative. Signing out from Alaska, Adam Colton.